Today we're taking a look at Before Launcher. I have talked about Ratio Launcher for a long time now, and I want to give a perspective on how it's to use other minimal launchers within the Play Store. Today we take the first look at Before Launcher, and we'll be talking about a couple of other ones in the future. Let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jose, and here we talk about digital minimalism and how to stay focused within our lives. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. I've been using Before Launcher for the last couple of days, and I can say that it's one of my favorite launchers so far when it comes to productivity and minimalism. Before Launcher does not try to do a lot, but what it does, it does it very well. It has three panels, very clear design, one with filter notifications, the other one with your most frequently used apps or the apps that you want to use the most. And the last one is just a list of apps that you can search pretty quickly. It does these things very well. Of course, you can customize a couple of extra things, adding colors here and there or a background, maybe changing the icons or etc. And if you buy the pro version, of course, you'll have access to extra features. I'll get to the pro version in just a second. By far, my favorite feature when it comes to the before launcher is the filtered notifications. When it comes to Android, iOS, or any smartphone, you get notifications back and forth for many different apps. But what this app does is that it cancels all of those notifications and allows you to select which apps you want notifications from. So if you want only notifications from four apps, you're able to select that. On top of that, you're also able to select the frequency in which you get them. You can pause certain filter notifications and you can also have do not disturb mode. The customization is very useful for somebody that wants to say, well, maybe in the evening you want all notifications, but during the day you want to filter them and do not be disturbed in order to be more productive. When it comes to the main panel, you're able to select which apps are there and which apps you don't want. So it's not cluttered and you are able to access them very easily. The last panel is just a list of apps that you're able to search. Before Launcher also has a pro version. And what I do like about this is that it's a one-time payment. The pro version includes add apps to folders, label the apps, change home text size, hide apps, and pin apps. Other apps like Ratio, the Ratio Launcher, have some of these features. But what I do like about the Before Launcher is that it's very minimal. It doesn't try to do a lot of things. When it comes to the other minimalist launchers, they try to do a lot of things here and there. Before Launcher keeps it simple. And that is something that it's an advantage to Before Launcher. When other launchers are trying to get you productive and get you hooked in different ways, Before Launcher is simple, fast, and effective. So my final thoughts when it comes to Before Launcher is that what it does, it does it well. It keeps everything clutter free. It allows you to filter the notifications and it, for the pro features, it allows you to pin a couple of things here and there and keep yourself focused. So if you're trying to find a better launcher in order to keep you minimal and focused, this is the launcher for you. If you have any other comments or questions, leave them down below. And if you have any suggestions about other launches that you want me to try out and showcase, make sure to also put them in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.